Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. Avengers Age of Ultron movie thoughts. Now, I I thought it was interesting that Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch aren't Yes, I'm 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 safe from Fox Lord, so I can say mutants. They are not mutants, but they've been experimented on by Hydra. Excuse me. And in fact, they chose to be experimented on and given the backstory excuse me that makes a lot of sense and uh, you know as as scarlet witch explains you know seeing yeah i'm pretty sure it's her turn you know seeing the the shell with the name stark on it and waiting for it to explode i i want to reassure her tony has already experienced that himself as well so it it will you know it's he's he's been there is all I'm saying but uh, yeah and yeah that that really changes their their character and it's 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 very interesting and you see that drive you see them really wanting to yeah you know they they basically see Stark and by extension the Avengers as bad guys you know they're they're these meddling forces that come in and say they're trying to do good but I, th I thought that was also really well communicated through the was it the the iron crap I don't remember what it was the iron league maybe some, something like that that you know come in and you know we are we are here to protect you you know stand clear and the villagers attack them because yeah this is you know yeah they're they're coming in like team america you know and and in thor the dark world <laughs> the team america stuff is actually kind of played straight like the movie the movie thinks that you know asgard protecting all nine realms is just fine. In this one, it's a bit more realistic with, yeah, if you go to inner, inner other countries and you mess around and you fight and you cause conflict, some, even if you mean well, it's not, you know, some really bad stuff might happen to people you are trying to save, you know, it, yeah, and I really liked how, you know, ultimately they, they do a lot to save these people. I don't remember what the the country was called, but I'm going to go with Moldovia. And the idea of raising Moldovia to, to make it the, the, the comet that, you know, hits the earth and cleanses it yeah that that makes you know for Ultron by by Ultron logic makes a lot of sense and yeah I you know the climax has the the scenario right out of a disaster film or very appropriately a comic book you know the the bad guy raises a landmass and the good guys have to deal with that. That's, yeah. And they they do manage to get all of them. You know, the... And that, of course, brings me to Quicksilver sacrificing himself. I thought that was really nicely done. I, I heard several girls in, in the rows next, you know, going all and yeah 
it was really a great moment. You know, he's, you know, yeah, he shows himself to be truly selfless. And, you know, over the course of the film, he's a bit of a jackass at times and such. And, yeah, and, and I also really like that it was in relation to Hawkeye. You know, from right from the start, the two of them, yeah, you know, yeah, Hawkeye firing that first arrow, and then it's caught, and it's like, what just happened, you know, and the, you know, and he he's pondering, you know, shouldn't, oh, it would be so easy, no one would have to know. Well, last I saw, Ultron was sitting on him. It's just, you know, we're going to miss his, you know, fast little feet or whatever it was he said. And then, you know, and and at the same time, also, you know, clearly Hawkeye is willing to sacrifice himself for the, the boy. And, yeah, you know, they actually, they, they save the boy and get them all off. And, you know, the... The helicarrier shows up just in time, and it's it's kind of fan servicey, but hey, it's you know it's Nick Fury. I'm sure he you know had some way to you know and and the you know the crew he got on. I, I love that in spite of such little time spent with that, they still managed to give a ton of character and jokes to this one young guy is yeah the, the first one's lock pack look it's full of people <laughs> just yeah now I quite like the conflict with Hulk where he's basically you know Banner and Hulk are both kind of scared of the other and you know the the you know Iron Man realizes oh, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have mentioned Bruce to you know to to Hulk because that only makes him angrier and yeah and and it it culminates with Hulk flying away you know and the yeah, you know, basically, Scarlet, sorry, Black Widow is trying to talk him into coming back down, and he turns off the the thing and flies off in stealth mode, and yeah, you know, he doesn't he doesn't see a future, in, in, and he definitely he wants to keep himself away from others the, you know, and it's also really, I mean, right from the start of this one, you see that he's uneasy with the, yeah, you know, there's a, you know, there's that thing of, I didn't think I would have to go green, and, and then, you know, when, when Scarlet Witch messes up his head, I, I thought that was really nicely done as well. That you know he's he's sitting there and the you know the, the ship opens. Do, uh, do do I have green? And you know he sees her, we see her, and cut, and then he's just going insane in you know in the city and yeah you know I mean. That is an awesome scene, and both, yeah, both you know, badass and terrifying. And I, I, I love the Chinese finger trap that is part of the the Hulk Buster that captures the entire arm and and kind of locks it in place, and the the jackhammer that punches him in the face over and over, and then you know Hulk gets up and spits out a tooth and Tony's like sorry <laughs> and Hulk attacks him back and yeah 
and after that, you know, yeah, that that's really that's devastating to Bruce, of course. And as he says, you know, now the world has seen the Hulk. This is, you know, the. I guess it's unclear if Ang Lee's Hulk and the Incredible Hulk are entirely in canon, but yeah, in those it was a bit less so. It was still kind of being kept secret and such, but now we have in the middle of a city, you know, everyone saw that. You know, the, the what, what was it, the, the, you know, they're not calling for you know, Bruce to be arrested, but it's, you know, <laughs> they're, they're, you know, it, it might happen, and, and people maybe kind of want that to happen, and yeah, you know, that, how, how do you deal with that, and I, I really like that it does something like, th this is like, I'm not going to spoil Captain America Winter Soldier, but this is similar to that. It, it takes something we expect to be a certain way and completely changes it. You know, now we've had, excuse me, two, two Avengers movies with Hulk on the team and, you know, excuse me, maybe some cameos in between the movies and you know and also this relationship between Tony and Bruce and yeah I'm I'm very excited to find out you know Captain America Civil War yeah, that might actually be part of what is you know the 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 conflict in that one is you know well we just saw what happened with the Hulk and maybe he should have you know that could be a pretty significant argument for what was it Re registr the registration act something yeah hero registration act it's been a while since I read the comics but I did actually read that story of of the ones that are being adapted it's one of the only ones that I for sure read but yeah the and of course the the mid credit scene of the gauntlet up close and we we saw earlier you know when when thor was talking about it, he said you know and he specified and now now the avengers know now the avengers know about the infinity gauntlet and the infinity gems and we see the gauntlet with you know okay and so then mid credit scene we see the gauntlet we see the you know six little spots where there could very easily be gems Grabbed by Thanos, I guess I'll have to do it myself. And yeah, that I can't wait. <laughs> can't wait for for those two movies, absolutely. And I I love Vision in this. I I was really excited to you know even when I mean. The moment I found out, you know, Ultron, I was like, Vision? Vision too? Because, yeah. And they did it. They did it so, so well. They, they, I mean, I wasn't surprised that Paul Bettany would be perfect for the role. You know, he already did Jarvis so well. I also like how, you know, you know, Vision sounds like Jarvis and then, you know, he has, what was it, Friday, who I swear is like Irish or something. She has an accent. She has some kind of, you know, UK accent. I, I think it's Irish, but I'm, I could be wrong. And, you know, of course he has backup. Uh, yeah, but... And, and the, you know, how, how does he get his name? You know, Thor comes back and says, I had a vision. So, yeah. And I love, you know all the, you know, he gradually changes his appearance in those first, you know, 
two minutes or so after he's woken up, you know, and he looks at Thor and then he makes a cape. That got a big laugh. And yeah. The the whole and, you know, him him facing off against the very last of Ultron's bodies and them arguing and pitch perfect. Every line says exactly why Ultron thinks the way he does, why Vision thinks the way he does. And basically, yeah, you know, they do both realize humanity won't last forever, but Ultron thinks that they have to end and then something new will come, whereas Vision thinks it is beautiful while they are here and it is it is a privilege to be among them you know and then after that he fries that last one and yeah just absolutely perfect the, the look the voice the characterization everything and I love how after this whole argument with all the heroes you know they're they're you know and he's saying you know we we have to go and he hands Thor his hammer and it's like that yeah that got a big reaction from the crowd everybody loved that and Thor's like okay and yeah and it's so perfect because even if this is the first film you watch you still have that scene it's one of the first scenes nobody but Thor you know you see Cap he can he can move it and Thor does get a little bit concerned and then no he can't and then <laughs> Never, don't, you know, me? Nope, not worried at all. And, yeah. And then, and, and I love when, when Vision also uses the ham, you know, when, when Thor, you know, Ultron is choking Thor, and he, I am Thor Odinson, and as long as there is a breath in my body, I'm running out of things to say, and then Vision, comes in and swings and ah oh, this perfectly balanced ah oh, yeah without that you know you couldn't quite get the power and the swing and the it, yeah and and it's like you know oh finally I have some someone to talk to someone who understands this because you know usually it's just me with the hammer and you know dad but he's not much of a talker about this kind of thing so yeah and yeah and and the yeah, I believe it was the, the mind gem, and finally we really have the a character actually on screen naming all, you know, and, and saying, I mean, this is not the first time that the, the Infinity Gems have been referred to very directly, but this is Thor, a member of the Avengers, very specifically talking about, you know, all of them have been, you know, affected recently. We are pawns in a bigger game, and I intend to find out, you know, and and also, you know, you can tell that he's been on Earth since the end of Thor the Dark World. And then in this, he talks about how, you know, you know, oh, Jane is out there, so you know, she, she might get a Nobel, and some, I really don't... Are they going to recast her? Because they are like, now the Portman wasn't going to come back. Because, the, yeah, that, it, it really sucked, like, like my friend Kermit had pointed out, they've spent so much of Thor 1 and 2 setting up this relationship and, you know, this whole romance, and if she's gone, yeah, that's a bit frustrating, but, yeah, but, but did love that bit at the party where they're, you know, so, so where, you know, you know, where's where's Jane? Where's Pepper? Oh, you know, she's she's important. She's working on this thing. I, yeah, she, she might get a Nobel Prize. Oh, yeah, and, and Pepper, she's like, she's top of her field, you know, and, oh, I can't imagine why they, you know, why, they, they must be really busy, since they, they certainly wouldn't want to not be here with you. Testosterone. That was, that was good. And War Machine telling the story, and at first it's like, this story always gets a big, you know, a big reaction. Right? It's just, you're the wrong people to tell it to. And then he goes down and tells it to, you know, a group of just regular, like, you know, party goers. And they're all like, yeah. And he's like, yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. He's, 
this, yeah. And I did quite like there at the end where he shows up and, you know, helps fight off. And then he, you know, he's annoyed by Vision taking, you know, because again, there's someone who's more impressive than he is. So, yeah. And, of course, I love the the very final scene there at the end where he, that was actually briefly apparently this is the last time we'll see this Avengers team and the next time will be different and that's that's gonna be really exciting and I you know the the end scene here really does the you know Thor is going away to find out about the Infinity Gems and I can imagine that he will be back for the Infinity Wars also to you know help tell them that you know to yeah help explain that they probably will need more that are more familiar with outer space than you know I, I can imagine that maybe someone from the Guardians of the Galaxy or someone introduced in the next Guardians of the Galaxy movie will you know, go over to the Avengers or something, but Vision is a good start, definitely. And yeah, you know, there at the end, you know, Banner's gone and Quicksilver's dead, but Scarlet Witch has joined the team, and so Cap goes in, you know, Avengers, and you know, you've got Falcon there, you've got Scarlet Witch, Vision, and were they the ones? And and War Machine might have been there as well, but yeah. And Cap goes like Avengers, and he's just about to say assemble, and then it cuts. That was that was beautifully done because everybody, every single nerd in the audience, was just waiting for him to say assemble, and then Joss cuts it off because yeah, that's that's perfect, and yeah, just absolutely love this movie. I cannot wait to see what. Yeah, and uh, yeah, obviously on the matter of more Avengers, obviously now that it's finally coming out, Ant-Man will be a member of the, you know, the next Avengers, and I suppose that does, yeah, that's at least for sure. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.